dear friends it's Carly and welcome back to another video in this video we are looking at Capricorn North Node and how to get the most out of this Taurus North Node transit that we are going through as a collective uh, if you want to check out my video on that whole transit if you haven't seen it yet by all means do there is also a video already available uh, that I've called comment commentary and in it I respond to 10 of the questions that I got in the comments on that video I am about to release another one here not too long so keep an eye out for those if you're wanting to dig into this transit this is the right place one step at a time that's what taurus brings in with this this beautiful transit of the north node through taurus so our goal today is like i said to focus on capricorn north node and i am using the book astrology for the soul by jan spiller and it is amazing i like i said i can't recommend it enough to basically everyone so in the book she has like a whole chapter for each north node placement and it's like two hours to listen to it on audible two hours of content about what that means what it means that you have a really good handle on in this case cancer and you're developing Capricorn what does that mean what does that look like for any of us and a little bit like uh, just you know buyer beware it, it feels a little bit like getting called out it feels a little bit like your deepest darkest stuff is being like put on blast by someone who understands you better than you do um, that's how I felt taking in my chapters anyway and like I said I've had kind of a similar experience in basically all the chapters so it's like <laughs> you gotta want that truth right you gotta want to know like where am I holding myself back and so yeah it's it's a great great book I can't can't pump it enough so I listened to the whole chapter but I took notes out of a few sections in the overview, which is just like five minutes of highlights at the beginning of the chapter. So best I can, I'm gonna try to go through these, these lists of, of things and we'll talk about what does it mean to have a Capricorn North Node and a Cancer South Node. And then at the end of the video, we'll tie all the pieces together, like how does building up your Taurus skill set ultimately help you in your Capricorn soul mission that you set out to do. And I'm gonna try to read these as a list and save my discussion, but we'll see how well I do this time. Uh, attributes to develop, accepting responsibility, being in charge, taking a position of authority, managing others, and there's a big difference between managing and controlling. And this was something of like a mantra that she offered that you think like from any situation where you feel overwhelmed or incapable to ask yourself how can i take charge of this from an adult point of view so you have all the power how do you exercise it to kind of manage this situation other attributes to develop self-control self-discipline self-respect and basically all of these come from the experience of supporting yourself so when you set a goal and you work towards it and you reach it there's self-respect that you like earn from doing the thing that you said you were going to do so to build your capricorn end is like make a goal work towards the goal accomplish the goal and in doing that it's a self-respect that also typically gets mirrored to us from external people like when we don't feel good about ourselves other people mirror that back to us by disapproving of us etc and when we have self-respect other people respect us because we're we're working towards what matters to us and building what matters to us capricorn is kind of associated with that great work that our soul came forward to do so there's there's real goals that you're here to pursue with a capricorn north node other things to develop emotional maturity distance from immediate family members needs and the ability to allow others to feel what they feel develop your goals get clear on what you want to accomplish she also says in there that capricorn north node is scheduled for easy career success once you decide to create it and I don't think I said yet, but this would be the right video if you're 
north node is in Capricorn or your north node falls in the 10th house of your natal chart. And again, really any of us that are wanting to develop that Capricorn energy within ourselves. And last but not least, practical solutions are what we're trying to develop with a Capricorn north node. And the way she describes it, it's like when your Cancer south node kind of like fires off and, and you're triggered in that, it's like you're just overwhelmed by emotions and you just feel powerless against the emotion. And so it's like practical solutions looks like in the face of all of that powerful emotion, we accept it, that it is, and we focus in on our breathing and we calm ourselves down. And from a calm place, we can now see the practical solution. So the whole like developing practical solutions, developing that side of ourselves, it looks like taking responsibility for how we feel. And if you're overwhelmed in your emotions, excuse yourself from whatever situation you need to, to go and do your emotion management and get yourself calmed back down into a state where you can think rationally and clearly and logically and figure out, okay, what is the situation and how do we manage it? How do we get a successful outcome here? Because that's ultimately what Capricorn is concerned with. And like Capricorn and Cancer are both very nurturing signs. They just do it in very different ways. Um, Cancer is more catering to the individual on an individual level and like meeting their needs and supporting them. And Capricorn is more contriving situations where you're setting the person up for success, but ultimately it's up to them to navigate the situation and have to make a good decision. So like that looks like you're, you're giving space and, you know, the freedom to make a choice and that ability to make decisions like Capricorn is giving to their family. They are absolutely supporting the people that they love, but they do it in a very different way from cancer. Cancer is giving them a hug and kissing their boo-boos and Capricorn is a little bit more the tough love side that knows that like for them to feel true success, they're going to have to work for it themselves. So like, I can't give that to them. I can only provide opportunities. And at the end of the day, what they make out of the opportunity is ultimately up to them. Like one example she had was, you know, a, a Capricorn North Node parent dealing with a teenager and setting a curfew and saying something like, okay, you can go out tonight, but you have to be home by 10 p.m. And if you're late, you're not allowed to go out the next three nights. And the kid comes home at 1030. So they're late. And what do you do? Do you ground them? Do you stick with what you said about you're not going to be able to go out for the next three nights? And in doing that, you'll likely have to maybe put up with some temper tantrums of some sorts, like, you know, their meltdowns of this isn't fair and blah, blah, blah. Like, do you cave and give in to make them feel better, ultimately making yourself feel better? Or do you let them throw their temper tantrum and you withstand what you said because you set boundary, you gave them an opportunity and they made the wrong choice. They, I mean, they knew the consequences and they did it anyway. And so at that point, sticking with your word and following through with what you said, the consequence was going to be, even though they may take it, take a hard hit emotionally, it's what needs to happen because that's the only way they're going to learn. And so that's that Capricorn mindset that we're trying to develop. And that's again, where self-respect comes into it because as soon as like you set that boundary and then they cross the boundary, they don't respect the rule and then you don't enforce the consequence. Like, I mean, they're just going to respect you less the next time, basically. And the sad part of that is like when you don't enforce your own consequence that you said this is a boundary and then you let people walk all over it and you don't do anything about it, it's your self-respect that takes the real hit. And Capricorn North Node is like essentially building kind of seems like this might be a pattern with water south nodes in general i'm gonna have to contemplate that but it's like when when your north node is in capricorn you're building your own sense of self-worth 
you're building up your knowledge that you yourself have value in the world, that you are capable of having a vision of what you want to accomplish, working towards that vision and accomplishing what you set out to accomplish. You're confident that you can do that. So last on that list of attributes to develop is to consciously visualize a bright, positive future for yourself and loved ones. So in that Cancer South Node, and we're going to get into this more here in a second, there's a lot of fear and there can be an over attachment to the past and what happened in the past. So to build that Capricorn side, like Capricorn is a visionary. Capricorn can basically do anything. It's the sea goat. It's like, that's not a real thing. It's a mythological creature on purpose because it's like meant to represent mastery of the physical plane. Like the, the sea part means you can swim the deepest oceans, the goat part can climb the highest mountains. Doesn't matter what life throws at you, you can handle it. And in this case, Capricorn, manage it. You can manage it. You can see the situation and find a solution. That's like Capricorn's greatest gift, like the highest frequency is just like trusting their own resourcefulness. It's like MacGyver. MacGyver didn't panic about what's going to get thrown at me today because he was good at solving problems. So it's like that's Capricorn's gift to be able to kind of detach from their emotions. Not uh, detach is the wrong word. I'm going to say rise above them. I'm going to say like calm their emotions to a place where they're able to use their mental faculties to figure out a solution. And really like one of the greatest gifts of the Capricorn North Node is when you do figure out the situation and the solution that goes with it, you have that built-in anchor in your South Node in Cancer where you just naturally have concern for other people feeling good. You would never do anything to like consciously on purpose make someone feel bad. Sometimes there is like a like a shadow side of cancer where you can be like emotionally manipulative to other people. You can like throw a fit kind of thing to to hopefully they see how upset you are and now they act different so that you can feel better kind of guy. So it's like anytime we have that earth north node, it's like what other people are doing to you has nothing to do with anything, right? Like you have to find that sense of self-worth and self-respect inside of yourself. And when you emanate that, other people give you respect and adoration and they look up to you and they learn from you and they listen to you and all of that when you're coming at it from a position of authority, from a position of I'm in charge of my life. I, it's my job to be responsible for this. Okay, so tendencies to leave behind. Dependence on others taking care of you. Dependence on controlling other people's moods as a way to control your own. Controlling others through emotional reactions. Kind of like what I said about you get upset so that other people see how upset you are and then they behave differently so that you're happy again moodiness, insecurity, taking personal responsibility for other people's moods, assuming you're at fault when other people are in a bad mood, you assume that they're mad at you instead of they're just having a bad day, limiting yourself through fear, fear of upsetting others, that she says this is just a technique to avoid taking responsibility for yourself. You're afraid that others will be upset at you and that's holding you back from, from taking responsibility and going after your goals and what you want. Um, fear of failure or not being up to the task. Fear of rejection, which is ultimately low self-worth. Using the past to avoid the present. And she goes in depth about how <clears throat> in a past life, uh, Capricorn's Capricorn North Node was a householder, like a homemaker, someone who was very prominent on the home or on the farm, and that that can manifest in this life as hermiting at home and an avoidance of the outside world. And again, I feel like that's kind of like a theme that I see through all of the water south nodes that when you have an earth north node, it's like you just have to participate. Like, and that's really something that, you know, going back to that, be limiting yourself through fear, it's like Cancer South Node, you think 
when I know enough, when I have enough confidence, when I, you know, when I feel ready enough, when I've grown myself enough, I've gotten enough nurturing, then I'll go out and I'll do it. But it's like one of those things, it just never gets there. In any time we're talking about our North Node or really any kind of soul development, like nobody shows up and pushes you into it most of the time. Like it's a step that we all have to take eventually when we're ready to to move forward we're ready to let go of the patterns that aren't working that's not a judgment that's a you yourself get to decide like is this working for you or not do you like it <laughs> is it are you happy um if not then maybe time to think about changing it up and a different pattern and that's like you know, nothing changes if nothing changes. Like if we want something different, we have to do the different things. And I'm having this conversation with myself on a regular basis about like, I, I am wanting to evolve. I'm wanting to walk forward into new territory. And that means I have to put myself out there. I have to take risks. I have to show up and be seen and be counted. Like I have to participate. I have to do the things that maybe scare me that I don't feel fully ready to do. And that's like, it's such a catch 22 with basically all the North node, South node combinations, because it's like, you think that when I'm confident enough, then I'll do it. And like that never gets there. And so ultimately for all of us, it becomes this act of no, but I'm ready. I'm ready to shed this old thing that I know is not working for me. And I'm ready. I know I'm scared, but, and I know like, yeah, it's going to be unknown. And there's things that I don't, oh God, I wish I could, I wish I had a map. I wish I got to see like step-by-step step what's going to happen when I do this. But really like taking that first step of even just figuring out like what is your goal what is it that you want what is it that you want to create and that can look like anything i mean anything in the physical that includes like anything that you can make with your five senses um that's like a book a song a painting a building a carving a on and on and on and on like make something that didn't exist before something to leave behind in the physical world that like is tangible proof that you were here and that's Capricorn, you know, to make something physical. And the more, like, <laughs> this is why we don't wait for confidence because the confidence in ourselves comes from the doing of the thing and the accomplishing of the goal. So think about it, like that very first goal, the whole time you're moving to it, there's no confidence in that for you. It's only just a stubborn willpower of choice saying, I will evolve. I will do this because I will prove this to myself that I can. And that is the first step. You have to prove it to yourself that you can. And from there, once you've met that first goal, dude, you're, you're golden, you're on, you're on fire. Just like that, that now is confidence that you have. This is, I've done this before. I'm, I set a goal, I worked towards it. I met, the, I met the goal. I learned what I needed to learn to meet my goal. I became the version of myself that could meet that goal. I built the relationships with the teachers and I found the information that I needed to meet the goal. I let the people help me who helped me meet my goal. Like I did all that before. So the fact that I did it before, I'm pretty sure I can do it again. So here, let me set off on this next goal. Let me decide again, what is it that I want to build? And the more you iterate on that process of setting your sights on something and then doing it, every single time there's a little bit more confidence a little bit more self-respect a little bit more self-esteem that gets added to the pile and it only takes a couple of those before now you possess self-confidence it's yours and you can point it at anything that you want to build and i love how she talks about how like capricorn north node you guys are you're meant to be in charge you're meant to be the boss and I know for some of you that sounds so like the opposite of what you would want, but hear me out because with that Cancer South Node and that deep sensitivity to other people's feelings and their emotional well-being, it's like that's your anchor point. 
Like you would never do anything to hurt anybody on purpose or to exploit someone on purpose. Like you have your heart in this place of like just pure motherly nurturing love, like for all of humanity at its highest frequencies. That's what a Cancer South Node is capable of. So when you go to be the boss, you don't just like go force people and push them all around and just like round them up and put them on some busy work that just doesn't matter just to like be a dick and keep them busy. Like you just won't do that. Like you are like this whole other kind of boss that is soft and gentle and leads with a quiet self-respect that just says like, I know I'm in charge. I don't need to tell you that because I know it. And what I say is what goes and I'm setting our course. And thank you so much for your cooperation in helping us all to reach this shared goal that I'm managing us getting to. Thank you so much for your cooperation. I appreciate it. Um, And then you use that Cancer South Node anchor to get to know the people to get to know like their emotional set point, to get to give them that same nurturing through, again, that Capricorn lens of setting them up for success. You see their capabilities and you give them tasks that really allow them to shine, to pull things out of them that maybe they don't even see because you're so intuitive and soaking up the energy of everyone that like you can tend to know them on a deeper level than they're even consciously knowing themselves. And again, it's like, it's not always about like, you need to do this, like you're good at this and like you need to go off this way and do these things, step one, two, three. It's like, you don't need to tell them any of that. You don't need to give them a spiel. You need to say, hey, here's this job. This is your task. I need it by Friday and like give it to them and let them do it. And in them figuring out how to do it, they will see themselves in a completely different light because you saw that they were capable of this task and in them doing the task, true typical Capricorn fashion, you gotta do the thing before you have the self-confidence. So again, that Capricorn boss, this Capricorn North Node boss is like setting people up for success so that, you know, not only do they now know professionally that they have these abilities that maybe they didn't have access to before, but again, think about it from your own perspective. Like the more you do things where you succeed at work, the greater your self-esteem, the greater your self-confidence, the greater your self-respect. And those, those attributes are really what you're gifting your subordinates with. When you're the manager, when you have a team of people that you're guiding and using these collective resources for us all to get to this goal of whatever it is, um, that is such a gift that you give those people their own experience doing things that you, you obviously knew they could do it, but they didn't yet. And you gift them with that experience. So there is such depth of love with you guys and that's why like i think especially at this time like i hope my plea is heard in the universe um especially at this time you guys are supposed to be the managers and there is there's a self-confidence that's required before you'll believe that you should have that position and until you believe that you should have that position you can't have that position so that's why she says like you guys are slated for easy career success as soon as you decide to build it for yourself when you decide that like, yes, I should, I should be in charge. I actually would make a great boss. You're right, I am really caring and I would treat people really fairly and I would be sensitive to how I may be hurting them or exploiting them in the work process. Like, you're right, I, I would make an excellent boss, way better than these robot profit only, <laughs> like bottom line, treating people like numbers like that just is nothing that you guys would ever do and in today's world we need you we need you to step into your confidence and to find your self-respect to know that you are absolutely 100 percent qualified and a badass fit to be the leader of a team to accomplish a goal to have a shared vision between a bunch of different people and use all of their individual strengths to create success not only for yourself but for a lot of other people too and the world is like waiting and ready for you to step up big time and so this is like 
This is very exciting for any of you who have Capricorn North Node or North Node transiting through your 10th house in general. Um, this is a big time of what does that evolution look like? It looks like you stepping up and taking control and being in charge. So as scary as that is, it's time to lean into it. And as much as you have to calm your emotions and calm your fears to be able to consciously and willfully step into, I am going to do this. I am going to do this because I want to prove to myself that I can. And that is what our soul's evolution is really all about. Like, no matter what North Node placement you have, it's going to be challenging. It's going to be stepping outside your comfort zone because that's the whole idea of that South Node. It's like, that's what you've mastered. You already know how to do that. And so in this life, we're pointing towards here's the next level of what we're wanting to evolve into. And for you guys, that's taking responsibility in the physical world. And you are so supremely suited to be in those positions of leadership. So how can this Taurus transit, this North Node transit through Taurus, South Node transit through Scorpio, how does that help you as a Capricorn North Node? So I have a few thoughts and I would obviously love to hear from you guys down in the comments below as far as how this resonates. And especially if you don't have like Capricorn or 10th house North Node and you have other Capricorn energy that you're trying to develop, I would also love to hear like, you know, what's going on and did this resonate? But basically how how I've put these together is like in the Earth family, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Taurus is step one. You have to have good, solid Taurus energy before Virgo can do its thing, before Capricorn can do its thing. Taurus is so much the entry point that I think that right there kind of speaks for itself as far as like when you dial in your Taurus energy, you are so much more likely to be effective with your Capricorn energy. It's like, yes, Capricorn's the manager. Capricorn can set a goal and meet it and all of that. But it's like, how does Capricorn know what goal to set? Taurus. Taurus is informing that process of setting the goal. Taurus is where you know what's important to you what your values are, how you can enjoy the sensual side of your own experience to the fullest extent, what are your desires, your animalistic desires, getting in touch with your inner animal to know like what are your physical needs at a base level, what are your needs, what's valuable, what's important, and that's like where our priorities get set. And so like think about it if you're on the shadow side of taurus aka you're in a materialistic place where your sense of security and joy and fulfillment and worth is coming from your physical possessions that you own that is setting the agenda for what capricorn is doing and capricorn in its shadow frequency it'll compromise itself to meet the objectives of whatever taurus set out so it's like if you're in your shadow energy of earth, you're doing things that do not align with your values to accomplish things that really at the end of it, you realize weren't that important. And that is where regret comes from. That's where karma comes from, where we got to come back and do it again. Because again, Taurus is that entry point of setting the right goal to begin with. Yes, Capricorn can meet its goal. It's very talented at that. But if it has set the wrong goal in the beginning of that process, then meeting the goal is kind of pointless. Taurus provides the clarity around what truly matters so Capricorn knows what it wants to set as its goals. And then also purging Scorpio helps heal all water and our emotional overdependence on others. It also helps with letting go of situations that are not serving you before it gets to a stage where your survival is threatened. So this is where either a Cancer or a fourth house south node, she goes really in depth as far as like in a past life, you were the one at home, you were cared for physically, like they provided the house, they made the money, they blah, blah, blah. And you took care of the home, took care of the family, all of that. And so that 
in this lifetime, because it's now your south node and you're trying to move away from it, how that ends up manifesting is you find yourself in situations where you're looking to somebody else to physically support you. And because of that, you're staying in a situation that is very unhealthy for you. It is very toxic. They are not nice. They are not respectful. They are not supporting your highest good. And yet early on in the south node evolution, what that looks like for cancer south node is you stay. You stay because you don't believe that you have the capability to make it yourself in the outside world. You need them to make the money because you can't and you don't have the either the mental capacity, the physical capacity, the confidence, like whatever it is, like you feel lacking in some way that you need this other person and they end up abusing you. And that, again, like that cycle can play itself out as many times as it needs to. I know my South Node cycle continues to repeat on some levels. Like I just keep looping into that. Um, it's like I said, like I've said it over and over, like this is not something that we're meant to just like wake up one day and like, oh, I get it. And I just, I figured all of it out. Like it's a unfolding and a revealing that lasts our entire life of waking up inside of these patterns of our south node represents what we're graduating from and we it's not only about like you know leaving that behind and now you're only trying to do the capricorn end because you've you've mastered this you know when you get a college degree and you go on to grad school you don't forget everything you learned in the undergrad part you take it with you and now it's informing how you're continuing to evolve so your anchor, that cancer anchor of caring and being deeply emotional and sensitive to other people, that's never going away. But developing this Capricorn end of it, this North Node end of it, can really develop your ability to, like I said, kind of like rise above your emotions to let those emotions and that deep caring fuel you taking control in the world. That might have for you taking control in the world. Because like I said, the universe is ready. We are all ready for bosses who are caring and sensitive and compassionate and nurturing, ultimately nurturing with the work that they assign to their teammates. That's, oh my gosh, imagine a world where all the bosses were like that. I think I will. I think I'll just, I'll just marinate there for a moment. Anywho, so I hope this was helpful. Again, I would love for I would love to hear from you down below, and let me know what you thought. Um, I will be moving on to recording another one of these, and continuing until we have all twelve of them on the channel, and then moving on to some more videos about the Taurus North Node, because my goodness, like. I, I mean, I was already like obsessing with it just based on what it's doing in my own personal chart. And then you guys all showed up and want to talk about it too. So yeah, I say, let's talk about it. We're just, we're just getting started. So again, I do the comment commentary videos. So if you do have questions, feel free to leave them on this video and I'll lump that into the next one of those. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So until next time, dear friends, you take such good care of yourselves and so will I.